tournament that's had a long and spectacular build-up. But now is the time for the true fulfilment of South Africa's dream. The 2010 FIFA World Cup is ready for kickoff. And to the sound of 80,000 Vuvuzelas, the Fana Bafana, South Africa's boys, start with the support of an entire continent behind them against Mexico. South African team features eight home-based players and three from England. Portsmouth's Aaron Mokwena from Fulham, Kagicho Dikashwi, and Everton's player of the season, Stephen Pienaar. It's the same team that beat Denmark here last Saturday to make it a dozen games unbeaten since coach Carlos Alberto Pereira's return. If you're an England fan at Wembley last month and you'd recognise and respect the Mexico lineup, it's the same one that was very unfortunate to lose 3-1 that night. Places for Arsenal's Carlos Vela, Giovanni Dos Santos of Spurs, and the number nine who's left West Ham after a one-season stay, Guillermo Franco. Paul Aguirre finding Torado. Once again, the Mexican captain, but he ran into Shabalala. Torado does manage to work it back out to Aguirre this time. That's not a bad ball in. Chance here. Well, it's Umalenge Kune, the South African goalkeeper, almost found himself in a real mess here. I think Makawena gets the important block on, though, just on the rebound there. The goalkeeper just can't keep hold of it. Here's Aguilla. Ooh, almost got in with the cross. It's going to be a corner to Mexico. Challenge came in from Lucas Tuala. Well, I thought Tuala was going to give a penalty away the first time he went for that ball. That's an excellent challenge. Will Mexico profit from the corner? It's across and it's headed well, well into the crowd, and it is a good chance for Guillermo Franco. You can tell by his reaction. Adise finds Shabalala. This is neat football. Shabalala's gone down as though deliberately obstructed. Yes, and that's how the referee's seen it too. There's the little arm. Was it enough? Did the referee thinks so. What a chance for. Stephen Pienaar, seven goals last season for the Toffees, his sights are set, it's Pienaar, got it up, but couldn't bring the ball down again, no problem at all for Oscar Perez in the Mexican goal. Wrong side, wrong option. It was cut out by Juarez, he was off balance and the referee said, controlled it with his arm. Oh, it's going to be a yellow card too. First of World Cup 2010, and it's been shown to Mexico's Efrain Juarez. Not sure there was any need for him to stretch his arms out like that. Adise, he's trying to deliver. Comfortably headed away by Salcido. Oh, and that's a mistake from Adise. Giving the ball to Dos Santos, who's got Carlos Vela with him. Dos Santos with the strike! How close was that? Opens up. Oh, I'm miles off it. <laughs> That's Aguilla. This is Carlos Vela. Clever little ball. Chance for Franco. Well saved by Kune. Excellent. Excellent save. Good movement from Franco. On the West Ham player. Just a little diagonal run. Just here in the middle of the screen. Takes it down well. I thought he was going to try and hit it hard and low. Goalkeeper comes out, times it just right. Juarez. Now it's Vela. Vela thought about shooting this time before finding Franco. Mokowena couldn't stop it. Dos Santos! And it's deflected behind for a Mexico corner. The Mexicans are coming again here. Tomado's corner. Must be a goal. It is a goal for Mexico. It's the flag up. Yes. The celebration short lived. Well, I think the, the flag goes up early, I can see him down the far side, I don't know, from an offside position, for this part of his body's forward. I that was a foul. Yeah, he was thinking about letting play go, but finally does bring it back, no real advantage for Mexico. Increasing yeah. noise from the Vuvuzelas. Los Santos. Free header again, but it's over the top. 
There you go. He's absolutely free, just on a penalty spot. And that's a free header from that distance there. I think it's Mogwen who tries to get hold of him right at the last minute, tries to wrap his hands around him. But can tell you, Frank has had two headers what he should have scored from. A decent. Good play. This is Shabalala. Oh. Great chance, but Mpella can't connect. Medise, who scampered across from left to right very quickly. And he's won another corner for South Africa. This is their best spell of the match yet. Well, it's 43 minutes and they're growing in confidence, aren't they? Excellent cross. I think Mpella does the best he could do. He's just thrown himself at it. He's just a whisker away. Romano is jostling with Rodriguez. Perez, well, opts to uh, take the safe course of action, I guess. Well, you can see he comes from his line and then he has to go backwards and as he's jumping he's thinking well if he has to hold on to this he's going to fall over there's no question that's a better one oh the head is misdirected oh good deep corner this time you can see just under a little bit of pressure and now south africa will try to speed things up Good ball played through for Shabalala, who is onside. It's a real chance for Shabalala! And he fires it home in style! Soccer City has lifted off! And the World Cup is alive to the sound of South African celebration! What a moment! The ball was an excellent pass through there. Shabalala takes his time. Rifles in the top corner, just the composure. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper, as you can see, starts to go back. I think he leaves too much of the goal over, empty. Look at that, he encourages his over in the near post. Encourages it for what a finish. And then, oh, right into the top corner. Juarez finds Dos Santos. Franco and Vela in the penalty area. Dos Santos! Great stop by Kune. That's a shot. This is always a difficulty you have when you have left-footed players playing on the right-hand side. They can come in and come onto their favourite foot. Just looks like he's sneaking into the near post, to be honest. Superb save. He's up early, gets great spring and two strong hands. And it's been a joyful day in Johannesburg. Mexico aren't finished yet. It's Guardado, and that's gone behind for a corner. And you know there will be at least one big Mexico chance before this is up. Taking it short. Guardado to Blanco. Not exactly flowing this. Guardado, great ball in, they're queuing up. Wonderful chance and Mexico a level. Rafael Marquez has scored. It's a heartbreaker. Terrible defensive error there by the team. They all move out. And the Masalela, the left back. But the stadium has gone quiet. Cool as you like. Barcelona's Rafael Marquez. He yeah, buys himself a bit of time. Chance. And he's gone long. There might be a chance at the end of this because Impella is very, very quick and he's in for South Africa. But he can only hit the frame of the goal. Oh, that was the moment to win it. A normally lethal Catlego Impella has blown his big chance. Little knock forward the head. Ever, does ever so well. But what he doesn't do, he doesn't get really good contact on the ball with the left foot. You can see it's just a little, little waver. I mean, look, there's, there's no direction there. There's no strike through the ball. You've got to go through the ball there. Ship with first wave, many congratulations. What a goal. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I'm very happy with the goal that I scored. It was very important uh, for me, to me. And that is um, the highlight of my career, I must say, because uh, I was celebrating my 50th cap uh, with the national team. So it was a special goal for me. It was probably the move of the game. The ball through to you was pretty sensational. What was going through your mind when you collected the ball? Yeah, no, uh, the, the most important thing uh, was the first touch, because I made a good run. So after I made that uh, uh, good touch, and then um, I just focused on the ball. And um, it went in, and I was very happy. Now, it appears as though you've lost two points. How would you sum it up? Because you haven't lost. Yeah, um, but uh, I think there's nothing we can do about it. 
we've already lost the two points, but uh, we did very well as a team, uh, considering the fact that it was our first World Cup. And um, we're really looking forward uh, to the next game. There's two games to go, and uh, we'll collect points there. Congratulations.